Let's see if the model says I would survive the Titanic. No! In this video, we will do machine learning by implementing logistic regression. All right, so the first thing we need to do is do some import statements. I'm learning. No, you're not learning yet. We haven't even done anything. So let's get going. From Pi data sets, we'll import data and we'll go ahead and import pandas as PD. And let's import numpy as NP. Also from scikit-learn dot linear model, we're going to import our logistic regression. And because we want to do a test train split, let's do model underscore selection import train test split. Now let's go ahead and get the data. We're going to be using the Titanic data set with the attempt to predict who will live and who will die. So let's take a look at a sample of about five random data points in this data set. Okay, so we have the class, the age, the gender, and whether or not they survive. So we're gonna use class, age, and gender to determine if they survived. But first, in order to do this, we're gonna have to do some feature engineering because not all of these things, as you can see up there, are numerical. So what we're gonna do is use some one-hot encoding to classify the categories and help them fit to our model. Pandas is a built-in way to do one-hot encoding. It's called PD get underscore dummies. And we'll plug in our Titanic data set and we'll also give it drop first equals true. That means we don't have the first column for each one and I'll show you what that means in just a second. So let's take another sample of five. Drop first equals true means that there is no class one because as you can see here, class two being zero and class three being zero means that they must have been in class one. Also, for age of child, it's either 0 or 1, and so on. So survived will either be a 1 for yes or a 0 for no. Now let's go ahead with the test train split. X train, X test, Y train, Y test. And we'll do the split and we'll plug in everything but the survived yes, and we'll plug in the survived yes for our X and our Y. All right, now it's time to train the model using the training data. So we'll do log reg is equal to logistic regression. And I'm gonna give it a specific solver. You don't have to, but I just want it to be this one that it defaults to. And we'll do x train y underscore train that we plug in. And there is the model. Now our machine is officially learning. I'm learning. And now we're going to predict if a class one child age girl will survive. So let's go ahead and plug that in. So logreg.predict np.array. We'll plug it in as an array. And it sticks out as one. So yes, that person is predicting to survive. Okay, let's try predicting if a class 3 adult age male would survive. So that would be 0 in the class 2 category, a 1 for class 3, 0 for age child, and 0 for sex woman. And let's see if that means they would survive. And it comes out as a 0, so that means no. This model predicts that that person would not survive. Now let's go ahead and get a score for this model. So first off, I just want to show you the built-in. We'll do log reg dot score x test y underscore test. And this comes out to be 0.778115. Now let's get a better understanding of what exactly the score is doing. Prediction is equal to our log reg dot predict with an x test plugged in. Every time that's greater than 0.5, it's going to predict that they did survive. And anytime it's less than or equal to 0.5, it's going to predict that they will not survive. And that's exactly what this is doing. So if we sum up every time that the prediction is equal to the actual output and divide by the length of that output, we should get the same number. And indeed we do 0.7781. So that's all the score is doing. It's predicting that those who have a value of above 0.5 will survive. And those who do not, it assigns zero. 
and you can test that right there and see that they have the same output. So there you have it. That is how you can use Scikit-Learn's logistic regression in Python. Please be sure to check out some of my other Python videos and please subscribe for more Python content.